In this video I'm going to show you how to use different blending modes to make applying other filters a little easier. Let's say you've got a picture with a very shallow depth of field and you really want to increase the contrast and sharpness on the area that's in focus. So I go to the local contrast tool, activate it, and let's say we crank everything way up. Um, you'll notice that the face now looks a lot sharper than it did before, but the background has gone from being this nice, beautiful, creamy, soft, bokeh or bokeh or however it's pronounced, to looking pretty harsh and ugly with very definite um, borders around the edges of the different blurry areas. Um, so if you're using a tool, wouldn't it be nice if there was a way to be able to see only the parts that were being affected so you could more easily dial in your settings? Well, there's a great way to do that by using blending modes. So I'm going to click on here and go to uniformly. And I'm going to go down to blending modes all the way to difference. Now what the difference blending mode does is add the original image and it merges it with the altered image and it shows me the difference between the two. So in this image anything that's black is not being changed and then the shades of gray just show differing amounts of change with dark grays meaning less sharpening is being applied and lighter colors mean more sharpening is being applied. So now I can try to use these settings, dial them in to try to get a lot of stuff going on in this area I want in focus, but I want this area that I want to remain blurry to be as dark as possible. And you'll see as I'm doing this, this face really isn't being affected too much, but the background is getting quite a bit darker. So let's try that. All right. And now the contrast. All right. All right, and now the detail. So now you can see that this whole background area, because this is a very dark gray, I know that the sharpness isn't going to be doing much here. It's going to be doing a little bit on the foreground out of focus area, but that's not a big deal. The bulk of the filter will be applied to the face. So now I'm going to go back to blend mode, difference, and set it to normal. Alright, now let's see what the image looks like before. As you can see, it's sharpening that face quite a bit, but the background really isn't that affected. Uh, now after doing this, you can tweak it a little bit further by eye. Um, as you can see, there's still a little bit of halo going on around here, so I can just work to adjust the... And there we go. That's. So that's how you can use different blending modes to make applying filters a little bit easier. Difference. It's very useful. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.